guys welcome back i hope all is well and everyone is having a great day today i have a video for you that was requested several times so i need to deliver i was asked to share what i use on my coloring pages to add sparkle and shine so guys i hope you have a snack handy some water a margarita or whatever your beverage of preference is because I have a lot to show you what I use for basically embellishments shiny sparkly embellishments which you guys know is my favorite thing I love glitter I love anything that shine guys let's get started I am going to link as much of these products below as I possibly can um, I probably have about 25 to 30 different things. Um, guys, let's get started because this is going to be a long one. First of all, what I like to use is gel pens. Gel pens are super easy. You don't have to worry about um, getting a paintbrush or a palette knife or anything like that. You just use it as it is. And... My fa I would say my favorite gel pen is the Pentel gel pens. And this is the full set minus one of the Pentel uh, dual hybrid dual metallic pens. Um, this is both sets. This is the original set and the mellow set. Um, but when I ordered my original set, it was missing the silver. So I have the whole set minus silver. Um, I actually have two gold. <laughs> Why did they send me two gold? I had two gold in the pack. I don't know, but I had two gold. But that's neither here or there. So gel pens and the dual metallics are my favorite. That's the first thing I use. Um, the second thing that I would use, and I'm not going to swatch each of these things out because I have so many is pearlescent or iridescent watercolor i love them um i have several different sets different brands this set happened to be handy so i took this set out this is the king art set which is a very inexpensive set but nice watercolor i really like them and i have a review of these on my channel so check that out Next is oil pastels. And I know you're saying really shine, but this is the pearl colors. And they provide you with pearlescent, iridescent type of background. Um, really, really nice. There's also a review on my channel of these. So you could take a look at how shiny these can be on a background. I like these a lot. Next, uh oh, I have a lot over here, guys. Next, I have these. I'm gonna pull this handy so you can see. I have this black piece of cardstock here. These are little mini stars. If I can get it open, I always have a problem opening these things. I don't want to break a nail. These are mini stars. I'm gonna sprinkle out a few. I have a problem with making stars. So I bought this container of mini stars. They are in several different colors. Uh, what is this? 12 different colors. This is a great find. This is an Amazon find. It was very inexpensive. And this is what the stars look like. I'm gonna bring it close. Pretty little stars. They provide enough sparkle for you, especially if you cannot make stars. So. Amazon, I will have the link below for these little stars. Next, what I use on my pages is these guys. Um, these are little gems. They have a sticky back and you could just stick these to a page and you have instant sparkle. And I got these on clearance at Michael's for a buck each. And I got several different sizes. This is like an iridescent, um, color and this is like a clear but I love these I have these in all different kinds and the Dollar Tree actually have these as well they don't stick as well as these but they have them 
Next, and there's a review on my channel of these as well. This is um, acrylic art ink, and this is the metallic colors. The metallic colors leave you with a shine. If you want to see what that shine look like, I have a video um, review of these, so check that out. It's a nice shine, guys. I really like these, and they're water resistant. They dry fast. These are awesome. And that is acrylic art ink. Next, we have glossy accents and crackle accents. Now, these guys are cool because, like, if you're coloring eyes or I like it for glass as well, you put it over it and it gives a more realistic look. And if you want the effect of crackle glass... You use the crackle accent and it makes the glass look cracked and it's a shiny, shiny layer over it. So it's really cool. I love this crackle accent. As you guys can see, it's halfway gone. I use a lot of glossy accents on like eyes, glass, sometimes flowers and just different things. I love this stuff. Love it. Love it. Another thing that I like to use on my pages for shine is this Aling's Glitter Snow. And I'm going to tell you what I actually do with this. I recently used it on a page because it's Christmas in July. Um, take a little bit out. And you can make realistic looking snow on your page with the palette knife. But what I do, it is glittery, and I'm going to show you in just a moment, but to make it shinier, I add extra glitter. I have a glitter, I don't have it handy, but I have a glitter that looks like snow, and I mix it with this. I don't know if you can see, possibly see that glitter on there, but I mix the glitter with this and makes it just, it's just so awesome how glittery and beautiful it is. So I love the glitter snow. All right, let's move that to the side since I put glitter snow on it. Next thing I use is the Nouveau um, Dream Drops. This gives like a 3D iridescent, like a puffy raised texture to your page. Um, really, really nice. I really love these. These were a gift. Um, but I love these and I look forward to collecting more of these. They are really nice. They're not cheap. <laughs> and while we're on Nouveau, I'll go to the next item, which is the Nouveau Sparkle Spray. And I'm going to spray it for you on this black paper. And you see it just basically it sprays glitter. Look how shiny that is really really cool i love this stuff this was also a gift with the other nouveau items thank you emily all right let's move that to the side what else do i use let's look at this this is something i use a lot of and this is windsor and newton uh iridescent medium um, you can color or you can use acrylic paint on a background and if you want some type of shine you can add this and it'll give it like an iridescent shiny background or is you could just use it over color pencil I have used it over marker I have used it over just about everything and did not have problems this stuff is awesome you need to have this in your coloring collection of Things you use to embellish your pages because it is awesome and you can use it over just about anything. I love this stuff. This is Windsor and Newton Iridescent Medium. All right, my next item, which I love, you guys know I love them, <laughs> stickles. I have a video on my stickles collection and me swatching out my stickle, stickles collection. 
This is the Ice Stickles. It has larger flakes of glitter and it comes in double the size as the small bottle. This has fine glitter. I love these. And this is also Stickles. This comes in this little jar and you could just use, I hope I don't need this paint palette for anything else. You could just use like a palette knife. I'm gonna use black paper and this is black Stickles. But you see how you just, you could get the, the glitter in there and it picks it up. Really nice. I like that. And let's try it on the white paper. I'm going to put it over here in the corner. I'm going to bring it over, guys. To me, it's not easy. Like, if you're doing a large background with stickles, yes, this is great. But if you're doing a small section, this is not easy to use, in my opinion. I just prefer the bottles of stickles where I can squeeze in instant gratification. But... These are cool to have. I would definitely have these in my collection. And guys, you can check out my Stickles video. And this is what the Stickles gel look like. It's nice. And that is the Black Matter is the name of that one. Let me wipe off my palette knife because I may... Uh, no, I'm going to have to use it for something else. All right, next. Confetti, like glitter confetti. And this confetti has, okay, y'all know I love unicorns. This confetti is going to be everywhere. It has unicorns. Y'all know I had to buy it, and it had pink little things in it, and unicorns. I had to buy it. It's so cute. But I use this type of confetti in my pages as well. I love this stuff. I got this from Target. I love Target. <laughs> okay, and going back to glitter glue, because I have other types of glitter glue. Let's move that out the way. This, Elmer's Glitter Glue. Get it from the Dollar General. Um, or I actually got this from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, but this glitter glue, I like it for grass. This is fantastic. If you want to make a lot of grass sparkle, this is awesome. So it is good for something. Even though it's Elmer's, but it's nice. It's really nice. And these two glitter glues are from uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, they're very large. I don't really care for them too much, but I have a lot of these, probably in about eight to ten different colors, that I'll use on occasion. And this one I actually use for a larger background. I just put it into a, um, a paint palette. And I added more gold glitter to it, and it was awesome. So, not bad. All right, guys. And going back to Ranger, after the glitter glue, is I use these enamel accents. I love these enamel accents. Um, they give you a puffy 3D effect. Um, this is the black and the white. Um, they give you like a puffy 3D effect. And you can actually use this white to highlight, to add highlights and stuff like that, which is really, really cool. I love these. These are awesome. And that is the Ranger Enamel Effects. I'm sorry, Enamel Accents. Love those things. Next... Let me get them out. Or my more inks. I love inks, inks y'all. I love them. This is the Windsor and Newton silver ink and the gold ink. And they are awesome. They provide lots of shine. Um, this little bottle will last you forever. I've had these probably a year now. They will last you forever. Um, 
I use it with a small detail paintbrush, like if I'm coloring a fork or something like that, or keys, this is awesome. Or if you need like to color gold trim, this is super, super awesome. I love these. I highly recommend you have these in your collection. And be careful with them because they are glass. The next thing I use is Classic Gold. I know my liquid leaf. And this stuff is super cool. This is like a bronze color. This is like a it's gold, but it's also like a bronze color. So this is like a super a super metallic gold where the Windsor and Newton is like a classic um realistic gold. This is like gold times 10. This is good stuff. I actually bought this at Walmart for like $4. Um <clears throat> after seeing it on Amazon, it was like $9 or $10. And I went to Walmart to my craft. I have a very nice craft section at my Walmart and I paid like $4 and some change for it at Walmart. I love this stuff. Next thing I use for sparkle and shine on my pages is washi tape. And all of these washies, this is like a metallic gold foil type of washi. And these are glitter washies in different, three different sizes. I love these to put on the side of my pages. Or if I'm like uh, coloring something like um, interior, like I can make a glitter couch, cut this and just put this over your couch and you can make like a glitter sofa, couch, whatever you call it, or curtains. This is really cool. I love washi. All right, guys. Next, what I use is Spectrum Noir sparkle and these are glitter inks this is clear this is cool this is a uh, pink this one is like a bronze brown but guys let me tell you the trick with these guys they are very expensive but if you buy this clear you really don't need all the colors because you could just color whatever you want with whatever medium you want and you could just put this over it and it's fine you don't really need all these colors and i bought all the colors um but this clear is the way to go and i love it you can use acrylic paint on your background and you can go over it with this ink and it is amazing and that is the spectrum noir sparkle these are the glitter inks they are very very cool they will last you a lifetime. All right, what's next? And while we are on Spectrum Noir, um, this is the same thing as the glitter inks. It's just in a pen form. And a lot of people have these, but they are the same as the little bottles. It's just in a pen form with a brush. A lot more easier to use these pens than this stuff. But if you're doing a large background, you could just get a large paintbrush, put this in a palette, and you know, you can save a lot of time with this. Just like the stickles. If you're doing a large background, this will save you a lot of time versus trying to paint. <clears throat> Never use this color. Versus trying to paint a large background with this little brush. But I love these. All right, and next, it looks like the same thing, but it's not. This is um, Wink of Stella. Everybody know what Wink of Stella is. Uh, it's cool. I had a bad experience with Wink of Stella once. It really messed up one of my pages, so I don't use it as often. Maybe I just need to practice using it, but I totally bombed a page using this Wink of, of Stella. It made my pencil look white. Maybe I used too much. So I'm quite sure it was user error, but this is Wink of Stella. Next, you guys seen all of these before. 
uh, metallic paints, glitter paints. This is another type of glitter paint. This is another type of metallic paint. And I can go on and on and on with these. This is another type of paint that will also give you sparkle and shine with little embellishments of uh, stars and moons in it. This have like a confetti inside. This have thin glitter and this is just a metallic and this is a metallic color shift. Guys, these paints, I love them. Um, I have a video of all my paints. Check them out. Love these. Love them, love them. What's next? Foil. I don't know the correct name for these, but this is like foil. Little pieces of foil. Um, really, really cool to use on a page. They get everywhere. <laughs> I have three different colors. The silver, the gold, and the bronze, or the rose gold. Um... I love these in my page. I love to use these in my pages. This is the tweezer that came with another set of foils. Very fine tweezer that you could pick up little pieces and place them on your page after you put your glue down. And I'm going to show you what glue I use. But first, I'm going to show you these guys. This is blue, like a purple, a green, and an iridescent color of the same thing. But these are just different colors. Super, super cool. I love these. I use these all the time in my pages. And this iridescent makes awesome, awesome snow. Really cool snow. Um, let's see. And I use these guys, this quickie glue pen by Sakura, which is the best thing ever. And I use this tacky glue, um, Aileen's tacky glue, the same lady that makes the glitter snow or company that makes the glitter snow. This is great for glitter. I love this stuff. So that's what I use to glue these on my pages. All right, guys, I have my final thing to share with you. I'm going to leave these here, and I'm going to add one more. <laughs> one more glue, which is the best glue you could possibly use for, you know, it's going to bring it out, glitter. I have about 15 different colors of these. I got them from Walmart. I did not buy them all at one time. Every time I would go to Walmart, I would buy one of these. They're around $3 each, but you get a lot of glitter. They are just awesome, and they're super shiny, fine, fine glitter. This is another glitter I picked up at Walmart. Um, it looks totally different. I'm going to move this over. Let's turn this over and show you the, how this glitter look compared to... The other glitter see this glitter is like little long bars it's so cool I love this glitter and this glitter I don't even think I used this one before I have to open it there we go sorry for beating them guys on camera but I had to open it I never used it But you can see the different types. This is fine, and this is like little bars. Really, really cool. But that's the glitter, and that's how it look. I also have... This glitter. And I bought this glitter from Michaels. Um, really cool. It has fine glitter. It has like a larger glitter. It has glitter flakes. But the reason why I bought this because I was having trouble finding black glitter. And it, they have a black glitter and a navy blue glitter in this. So that's why I bought this. And it comes in these little, which I thought was so cool. If I can get it out. It come in these little containers. 
So I just thought that was super cool. And you get some awesome colors. Awesome, awesome colors. So I had to buy that. And it was around 4 or $5. But, guys, the best glue for glitter is this glue. I bought this at Michael's. Um, once you use this, and this is for glitter and sequence glue. Once you use this, the glitter will not come off the page. With this, I have had the glitter come off the page some. But this is great for the foil. This is awesome for the foil. But this is the best glue if you're going to use loose glitter like this. And this comes from Michaels. Awesome stuff, guys. All right, guys. I think that is it. These are all the things that I use to make my pages sparkle and shine. If you have any questions about any of these products, feel free to drop a comment. Guys, thank you for watching. And remember, a lot of these products, I already have reviews on my channel. So go through my playlist and you'll find a lot of videos on the products you have seen here today. And if you don't see a video on something and you want me to do a video on one of the products, just drop a comment below. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.